Hey all, hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we're going to talk about saving your money in UK and spending it wisely. Because my mom used to say, earning money is not a talent. You can get it from anywhere. You can even ask someone for money. You can even borrow money. But spending the money that you have earned is a talent that makes one rich and smart. Or in my mother tongue, we used to say, Paisa unta ka matra arnir na pora. Ata engana chala vaakana. Enna muda arnir kina. So this video is not just for students, but for anyone living in UK. This includes saving tips, discounted shops, travel cost cuttings, shopping on budget, and a lot more where you can incredibly buy it for all for less money. Or if you're a student in UK or a newbie to UK, I recommend you to watch this video completely so that you get a lot of ways to save money. What are we waiting for? Let's get into it. So if you're new to my channel, I make travel videos, UK budget friendly, day trip location. So if you don't have a car, then definitely check out this public transport day trip videos that I make for less budget. Then cyber security course reviews since I myself is a cyber security student and peaceful vlogs since I love shooting and editing. So sounds interesting? Then please subscribe and be a family. Now we are getting serious. Now, very important thing, how to save money on daily travel. Travel is one of the most expensive thing in UK unless and until you know these tips. It's always better to take a weekly and monthly passes because you can save a considerable amount of money. For example, Arriva bus service. Arriva is a bus service which operates almost all the cities in UK, excluding London where you have the iconic red bus. So in Arriva, the normal ticket rate to travel from Bedfordshire to Buckinghamshire is usually around four to six pounds single and usually 10 pounds if you are not planning to run away. I mean, you want to come again. So with return, it will be around 10 pounds. But if you take a day ticket, it costs you 4.70 pounds with return or changing bus and is valid for any number of journeys in the day. Plus, if you are a student, you only have to pay four pounds for the day and travel multiple times. That is a huge difference. Also, you can take monthly ticket. It will be 72 pounds uh, with student ID. Just think how much it will be if you are taking a single ticket every day. If it was 10 pounds a day, then now you have around 228 pounds saved. Now, orbit tickets. On Arriva, you can get an orbit ticket for £5.90 with the student ID and you can go literally anywhere. For the Bedfordshire and Buckinghamshire County orbit, you can travel between Hertz, Reading, Northampton, Milton Keynes and a lot more that to for £5.90 a day with return. So let me say one more exciting thing. Say for example, if you take a train from Hatfield to Oxford, it would cost you around 43 pounds for one side and literally 80 pounds for a round trip. But you can go to Oxford just for 5.90 round trip, which means you can take an orbit for 5.90. You can go visit Oxford and if you're coming back in the same day, then the round trip only cost 5.90. Look at the difference. 80 pounds on the other hand, 5.90 here. But the thing is like train is faster, but if you love a long bus journey with all these beautiful sceneries of English village, prefer the latter. Now, cost cutting on train. So for the train, get the rail card as it works similarly to the monthly uh, ticket for bus. And also consider taking an Oyster card in London. So what is the difference? It can give you a lot of discounts on both rail and busways. I'm talking about the Oyster card. So the difference will be 4.90 pounds against 1.50 pounds. Man. So make sure to get an Oyster student card for more discounts if you are a student. So other ways to save money. The national delay repay scheme applies to most of the train operators. Anytime you are delayed on a pre-booked train ticket, at least 30 minutes, 15 minutes on some operators, but at least 30 minutes, then you can check if you are eligible for a partial refund. In London, Red Bus is most affordable travel means in London. Each journey costs only 1.50 pounds, regardless of the zones or distance that you have traveled. So once you enter into a Red Bus, it will only cost you 1.50 pounds and 
you can go to anywhere in London with the same bus. No, long journey and travel. National Express coaches. So if you are looking for a long travel, like you want to go to somewhere like far away, Ireland, etc., then take the National Express. It is not that much cheaper than other service. For example, not that cheaper as Arriva because it, it is not for, it's not that ideal for a long travel, but you do have the option to pay as installments in National Express. So you can go for your dream trip with a pay monthly option. Does it sound cool? Approvedfood.uk So best before dates. Unlike the used by dates, these are only suggestions that concerning the food quality but not safety. So you can save considerable amount of money by buying from the approved food website. They are able to offer a product that is still safe to eat which is close to or maybe slightly after the best before date. So as I said, there's a lot of difference between best before dates and used to buy dates. So if you are so concerned about the food because I was a little. <laughs> so not only food, you can also buy toilet tissues, kitchen accessories, stationeries, etc, etc from this website and save 70% of your monthly expense. But food has to be consumed within a few days and cannot keep for a longer time. So be wise when you buy food. Now, other thing about food is food purchase after 6 p.m. So after 6 p.m., most supermarkets start heavily reducing prices on items that they need to be shifted by the end of the day. But don't go on an empty stomach. The problem is like when you go to shopping on an empty stomach, chances are that you will buy everything. I mean, any food. So always feed yourself first before you go to supermarket to buy anything. Now, get a Big Mac and fries for 1.99. All you have to do is to get a McDonald's recipe, fill out quick survey on the site and you will get a Big Mac and fries as discount. When using your McDonald's 1.99 deal, you can then use this recipe from that to keep the process going on. But I'm not a big fan of too many junks and I'm not advising you to do so. But if by some case that is too necessary and you're really broke, you can definitely try this. The 1P challenge. So this is not a more like a discount kind of saving, but this is a saving if you have determination. So a 1P challenge is something like you have to, you have to save 1P a day, 2P the next day, 3P the next day, etc, etc. Likewise, you're saving just a fraction of amount, okay? And by the end of the year, for over 365 days, you will have saved over 650 pounds. So you can definitely try this as well. Cinema discount. Who doesn't love to go to movie theaters? So in this category, every theaters have discounts, but I'm going to recommend the one I'm using, which is Cineworld. So you pay 15.99 for a month to get an unlimited card. Watch any number of movies all over UK in Cineworld. I remember that I watched this movie called Tallumala again and again because the theater experience was like so amazing. So also if you have an EE SIM card or an eSIM card, you'd always get half price for cinema tickets during the weekends, I think, because one of my friends who told me this and I'm not very sure about it, but you can also check whether this is the case. Make a monthly grocery list. Now, why is it so important? Almost everyone in YouTube say the same thing, but I don't want to skip this thing. Why? Making a monthly grocery list is that important. Now, there is one more thing I want to say to all of you, those who are here for work, studies or anything. Don't compare currency exchange value when you are going to a supermarket. It won't do any good to you rather than making you feel guilty about what all you have bought. Say for example, when you were in India, you were earning around 30,000 INR for a month and you are buying a pack of bread for 30 rupees. Now that you are in UK, you get to earn 1000 pounds per month and you are paying 1 pound for a pack of bread. In both cases, you are spending 0.1% of your income, so don't compare anymore. So what is the big deal about making a monthly list? The thing is, 
if you don't have a monthly list you will end up buying a lot of products so only buy what is necessary at the moment that is very important buy what is necessary at the moment i've been practicing this monthly shopping plan and it drastically reduced my monthly spending so what you have to do is take a day make a list of what all you need write down everything that comes to mind it may take two to four days to be honest to remember everything keep the list in the kitchen and write it down every time you remember something now how to write group things together put all the dairy products together wedge together etc so you can take milk curd butter all from the same place and move to the next session while you visit a supermarket so this is what my monthly shopping grocery list looks like and i follow it with 10 percentage buffer i would say sometimes i i purchase uh, a 10 percentage more or a 10 percentage less so it depends which month it is so definitely for christmas and new year it will be like more things i buy but i always try to stick to this monthly shopping plan because that is the main point a lot of deviation is not acceptable but when you stick on to something and you follow that in particular then you will be able to have this habit of not buying a lot of things and buy what is necessary so for that reasons you can start doing a monthly shopping list and stick on it while you go to supermarket there may be a lot of free purchases that you have to make and which is like milk bread and fruits etc which is not definitely a monthly once purchase you have to repurchase it like two or three times a month whenever you go for shopping only go and buy what you currently need bank cash claims um it's not that common in my country that the banks offers a lot of cash backs and you know cash and deposit kind of deal when you're using the bank services for the first time but unlike in uk many of the banks they have this thing when, when you're signing up to a bank they give you a lot of offers i didn't really see anything for lloyds no this online banking called revolt has this option the thing is like if you get a link to join revolt from your friend then you and your friend will be getting 30 pounds 30 pounds each and then cash up now i won't really recommend you to go into a lot of online banking so cash up cash app has this offer that whenever you receive a link from your friend and you install the app and you make your first transaction you and your friend will be getting 10 pounds each this is for someone who loves coffee a lot especially when you are working so hard especially you are in it or any stressful job chances are that you will be consuming a lot of coffee now what about the expense if you get coffee daily there comes costa discounts so costa is something that gives a lot of discounts for their customers if they are using the services frequently and all you have to do is install their app and every time you buy a coffee just tap the qr code on the scanner and when you buy coffee for eight continuous days then you will get a coffee free that kind of useful when you are taking coffee like every day and also if you are buying coffee for your colleagues your friends your family or whoever always scan this on the cards also on their app they have friday discounts and you know discounts like free cake free drink or when you buy a drink you will get one extra kind of a deals that only you get via the application and also starbucks has the same features so the drill is whenever you are a frequent visitor to a particular shop it's always better to download their app and check for the offers now for students exclusively uni days it's a platform where students get a lot of discounts on branded shops like adidas puma imperial money etc you can buy things in a very discounted price i used to purchase things from body shop so the thing is like when you purchase something from body shop if you have a uni days discount then you will get around 20 percentage off on that purchase for example if you want to buy something for 20 pounds then you only have to pay like 16 pounds now for all the readers i myself is a constant passionate reader i love reading books if you are someone who love reading then you must consider these options rather than buying books every time from the bookshop what are the alternatives that we have number one join the library for free you know in uk 
libraries are open to everyone and that is for free i never believed it unless and until i went to a library which is next to my home i thought they would be definitely asking for a membership fee so i was okay to give it because i wanted to read a lot of books but surprisingly they didn't have any membership fee and also if you want to read book in the library then you don't even need to take a membership at all read whatever the books you like but you cannot borrow it so in order to borrow some books it is better you go to a library and take their free membership so i got all these books from the library so the thing is like i need to return them after 3 weeks but if you want to renew further and further you don't even have to go to the library you can do it from the app and you can keep it as long as you want now about purchasing furniture and stuff so you can save a lot of money from buying used furnitures so where do you get this used furnitures from first thing you can check in the facebook marketplace you already know about it and also charity or thrift shops so which is so common that you get nearly half a price or like you know one third of the price for the things that you buy especially check these stores like the cancer research center british heart foundation etc they all have used things but decent things in a decent price so that's about everything for today's video and if i'm going to keep on talking about the discounts and other things in uk then it, the video going to be really really lengthy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop here but i'm considering doing a part 2 of the same video because i have a lot of things that in my mind so If you really enjoyed this video then please blow out that like button. If you like this kind of videos and want to watch more then please subscribe to my channel and be a family. So I'll be back with something amazing in the next video and until then 